player who can do a Ross Taylor or a Brendan McCullum, of course, is Shahid Afridi. And like with Ponting, he was woefully out of form before the India match, and suddenly he chose India to come good, and that's uh, something Afridi's done in the past. Would that be a cause of concern? Like Ponting, Afridi comes good, hundred bo- hundred uh, runs, sixty odd balls. I think Ponting bats at number three, so he's got an opportunity to get a hundred. But Afridi is batting at number seven. How how much opportunity will he get to get a hundred? I'm not too sure unless and until he promotes at number three. Would he and, do that? Should he do that? And I think that is be- that is his best place, especially with the way he's batting in one-day cricket. Because number seven is an important position in one-day cricket where you will have to rotate also. If you're looking to hit the ball in the air all the time with fielders all around, you will get caught at su- some stage. And I think that that that's one thought of Riddhi can have if he wants to promote up the order. Uh, but uh, I think there are other batters also. And as you as you said, asked about Riddhi coming back to form. Uh, not in this game. Mm-hmm. Hopefully yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sort of, you know, we've been talking about India's batting prowess. You, in fact, spoke about the Pakistani's area of concern, okay. which okay. is batting. Ours has been the bowling department. I mean, how can we tackle that area? It's, we've seen it throughout in all of these matches. That really has been a big area of concern for Team India, isn't it? I you mean, know, they've the, really not been able to you know, get the, that. The best thing I've seen right. about Team India is in the last one year, we've spoken about their bowling, we've spoken about their batting in overseas conditions, but. Somebody has stood up and delivered the job at all stages. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been successful. You see the game against Australia. You know the spinners did a job for them. Zahir Khan has been magnificent right yeah. throughout the drive right throughout the last three four years. He's but been India. But that's just Zahir. What about the rest? No, I think Ashwin is tremendous. You know, mm-hmm. not rule him out. And the Pakistanis have not seen him. Uh, never played against him, so he'll be that surprise element. He's got that one which goes away, and it's not the regulation those right, it's the carom ball. Mm-hmm. So he will be a surprise package for the for the Pakistan team and 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 Indian bowling. We keep talking about it. I know teams get big runs about him, but they have stood up when when the times come. You know, we've seen in South Africa when they got 220, the bowling is defended. So th- there is a bit more steel to this team than I, than a lot of people think, and that's going to stand for them. Well, there's one quick question from this sir. When should when she off the power play? When for should the power play? You can ask Hindi. When, when should the uh, side opt for the power plays? Like it depends. It depends on the situation. Uh, and I think India has had an issue with the power play in the last few games. Uh, I've always said that if they're playing well, why not take it in the 34th over? But obviously then the, the, the players okay. in the middle will decide. And, I, and I've always felt that if it's going well, the Indian team has got such such big hitters and they're such natural hitters that they don't need to do anything extra, even in a power Actually, play. This is this has been a weak link. Uh, yeah. I mean, this batting power play was introduced to make cricket exciting and to make captaincy exciting. But I think captains have feared uh, the batting power players. I think the other option uh, could be that you take it immediately after the second power bowling play. power play. Uh, you know, surprise the opposition by doing something as sensational as that. Um, but generally, it's been looked upon as a weak link rather than as, as your strong point. Okay, let's take some questions. The gentleman of the big board. Dada, I have been very lucky that I have seen four times India playing with Pakistan. <laughs> and this is my seventh World Cup, which I am seeing here. And one thing I would like to just ask you, because I have been following you also everywhere. And what score? Because India was never, never in under pressure in any World Cup when we played with Pakistan. But this time, actually, the Mahol is, I mean, Mahol is totally different. And uh, I just ask you, both Raja and uh, uh, Dada, ki what score India will be able to win this game? Firstly, I don't think India, you're saying India has never been in, under pressure against Pakistan. They have. <laughs> and I remember the 2003 World Cup, they got 275 in Centurion. Right. And I thought we batted exceptionally well to get past that because that was a very good total. And India will have to get that, or Pakistan will have to get that in this World Cup to get past India. And and the most important thing Pakistan needs to do in this in this uh, game is to keep picking wickets. If India, if this batting lineup bats 50 overs, they'll get they'll get at almost six and over. If they keep picking wickets, that's the only way they can keep pull, pull India back every time. So that's going to be the key. Sort of you have an interesting what? anecdote about Bhaji, right, from the 2003 World Cup. Would you like to share that about? I have forgotten. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> Conveniently forgotten. <laughs> it all comes back to Punjab. Look at, look at how excited everybody is. So since, since everybody is so excited, let, let's just ask that question about 
Harbhajan Singh failing to take wickets, you know. There was this dossier which got printed on the front page of a national newspaper. We don't know if uh, Gary Kirshen wrote it or not. But the one thing it says is that the senior spinner in the team, and there's only Harbhajan Singh, <laughs> needs to take some wickets. It could be Yuvraj also. <laughs> <laughs> but Harbhajan is just not no, taking but, wickets. But give him a, an attacking field. Redefine his role. I mean, if his role is to stop the runs, then obviously it's not going to pick wickets. I think uh, give him a slip, maybe a short leg, do something different with Herbajan Singh because he's got the potential uh, to surprise the batsman. You know, he can bowl from around the wicket, over the wicket. He gets extra bit of bounce uh, and he's playing at home.